A sequence diagram for Kubernetes pods can help illustrate the interactions between various components involved in creating, running, and managing pods in a Kubernetes cluster. The diagram shows the flow of events and communications between different participants in the system. Key participants. One, user client. Initiates requests to create, update, or manage pods, often through a command line interface like kubectl or a dashboard. Two, Kubernetes API server. The central management entity that processes user requests and coordinates with other components to ensure the desired state of the cluster. Three, scheduler decides which node the pod should be assigned to based on resource requirements and node availability. Four, Kubelet, on the node, an agent running on each node that takes instructions from the API server to manage the lifecycle of the pod. Five, container runtime, the software on the node that pulls container images and starts the containers. Sequence of events. One, user requests pod creation. The user client sends a request to the API server to create a pod, e.g. using kubetail apply with a YAML configuration file. Two API server creates pod definition. The API server accepts the request and creates an internal representation of the pod, marking it as pending. Three, scheduler assigns pod to a node. The API server notifies the scheduler about the pending pod. The scheduler selects an appropriate node based on resource availability and scheduling policies, and then updates the API server with the node assignment. Four, API server instructs Kubelet. The API server communicates with the Kubelet on the selected node, instructing it to create the pod. Five, Kubelet pulls container images. The Kubelet interacts with the container runtime to pull the required container images from a registry. Six, Container Runtime starts containers. The Container Runtime starts the containers specified in the pod definition. The Kubelet monitors the process to ensure the containers are running as expected. Seven, Kubelet reports pod status to API server. Once the pod is up and running, the Kubelet updates the API server with the pod status, marking it as running. Hash additional interactions. Optional, health checks and monitoring. The Kubelet continuously monitors the health of the pod, reporting any changes in status. E.g., if a container crashes, the status may be updated to crash loop back off. Pod deletion. When the user client sends a request to delete the pod, the API server instructs the Kubelet to terminate the containers. The Kubelet notifies the API server once the pod has been successfully deleted. Summary. The sequence diagram demonstrates how different components in a Kubernetes cluster interact to manage the lifecycle of a pod. The user client initiates the process, and the API server orchestrates the creation, scheduling, and running of the pod with the help of the scheduler, kubelet, and container runtime. This process ensures that the desired state of the pod is achieved and maintained throughout its lifecycle.